Hey, how's it going guys? So, we have an update coming to Street Fighter V, I know, but it's not THE update, the one we've all been waiting for. It's kind of like something to keep us tied over for a little bit as we were for the final round here. Uh, this is mostly just a bunch of costumes, including the new 2019 CPT a Bundle Pass, uh, which includes even more costumes and of course a brand new stage, with some cool easter eggs in the background. Uh, these will all be released tomorrow, or by the time you see this video, it'll actually be uh, today. So I'm going to assume the servers are going down for a certain amount of time as well. So first up, we actually got these two Mega Man costumes that were announced before, but I might as well mention them now. Uh, first up is Ryu getting the classic Mega Man costume on the Capcom blog. It says, Mega Man needs no introduction as the Blue Bomber and hero of 20XX is just as iconic as Ryu. In fact, if you look really closely, a charged Mega Buster shot almost resembles a Hadouken. Making this costume a perfect fit for Ryu, so Ryu's been getting a lot of costumes lately, and this time he also gets Mega Man. We also have Sakura getting a costume. She'll be getting the, the classic roll costume also from Mega Man, but this is themed more on the Mega Man Legends series. Uh, it also says in the blog, Those familiar with the Mega Man series are probably familiar with Roll, Mega Man's little sister, and Dr. Light's assistant. In the Mega Man Legend games, Roll Casket is a different character entirely, a genius mechanic and best friend of Mega Man. So these two Mega Man costumes are not going to be part of the extra battle mode, just so you know. You can just buy them today uh, with money. I think they go for 5 $6 each. And uh, yeah, you don't have to collect the pieces throughout the month. However, there is an extra battle costume coming up for Alex, and that is Leo uh, from the Red Earth series. It says, Leo is one of the four playable characters in Red Earth, a Capcom fighting game series first released in 1996. This is an awesome game. Uh, as the king of uh, Gridia, I don't know if I pronounced that right, Leo was cursed to become half lion, half man by unknown invaders. He has now accepted his fate and holds this curse as a symbol of strength. Uh, this is an extra battle costume for Alex. We'll be collecting four pieces for this and it starts on March 15th. I'm actually really excited to collect this costume for Alex since I really like playing Alex. Uh, also, if you guys missed out on some previous extra battle costumes, including all the mech costumes, for Zangief, Fang, Jerry, and Abigail. They have all returned, I think, last week, so you can start picking them now in case you missed them. Also, Zangief will be getting the next uh, Fighting Chance, that's the loot box in the game, uh, costume called, it's a Geef costume called The Geef. And honestly, the costume looks terrible. It's just Zangief with a mask on. But, uh, I mean, if this tickles your fancy, I mean, go hard, and uh, good luck on, on your rolls for this. Okay, so now let's talk about the, the 2019 CPT bundle. First off, we're getting a brand new stage and it looks great. Really colorful, vibrant, it's a Metro City themed arena with a, a ton of Final Fight characters in the background, including we see Sodom there, I see Relento, definitely Hugo, Axel, I mean there's a lot of characters. Some characters are missing, like where's Poison for example? I see Hager, so I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of speculation going because we're so desperate for, for news and information on who the next character is. but I mean, having a character in the background of a stage does not give us any type of hint or anything uh, concerning the past history. We have stages where Alex is in the background. We have a stage, we have a Halloween stage where Necro is in the background. It doesn't mean Necro is in the game and so on. I mean, we have the CPT stages that show all the Shadow Luke characters. I really don't, I really feel like it doesn't really matter who's in the background of the stage. It's, it's, it's a Metro City theme stage after all, so of course they're going to have a bunch of Final Fight characters in there, but it is nice to see Relento and Sodom there, that Capcom remembers these characters. So that's cool to speculate away guys on uh, what you think, maybe maybe Capcom is giving us a little hint, but I doubt it, I doubt it. So uh, also we'll be getting a new color, uh, new colors coming with this CPT bundle. Uh, most of them look dark grey and orange, orange themed costumes, some look pretty good, the real one looks good. Uh, we also be getting three new costumes with this bundle. As usual, we have a classy cage costume. I don't know, or what I sorry, a cage kage. Sorry about that. You guys, uh, some of you guys will tune into the stream. Don't know the memes, but yeah, kage looks good. Uh, we also have a wrestler Sagat costume. I didn't. I honestly didn't know who this was when I saw the costume first. I'm like, who? Which character is this? But it's Sagat. I mean, I don't know what gave it away. Maybe the eye patch. I'm not sure. And then of course we have the CPT. Uh, Champion's Choice, which is Gachi-kun, uh, which is yet to be revealed, uh, but maybe he got some inspiration during his recent wedding. We'll have to see. Uh, the pass will cost you guys about 20 bones, 
$10 separately for the stage or $6 per character. It is quite pricey. However, a portion of the money goes directly to the CPT prize pool where you'd be directly supporting uh, pro players and the esports scene. So yeah. Uh, also, if you buy the entire bundle, you get some bonus stuff like five brand new titles that nobody uses, two profile themes that nobody checks, and of course, bonus 10k fight money. <laughs> fight money for days, guys. 10k. I mean, I don't even know what that's enough for. Probably a color. So yeah. Uh, sarcasm besides, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to pick up the CPT pass. The stage looks really, really nice. Uh, they also said that the past CPT stages will also become available again for purchase. I think I'm missing the Arena Pride or something. One of them I'm, I'm missing on my Steam account. So yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all these crazy costumes. Let me know if you're still playing this game. And of course, uh, when I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on when the next real big update is coming. Let's hope it is big. And sometime around, final round, which is, of course, uh, in March. But at least we have some content coming to the game so hopefully Kako's getting that out of the way and then we can just focus on what we're all waiting for so as usual guys uh like the video it really helps out of course subscribe to the channel also I'll keep you guys posted as soon as possible when we hear something uh for street fighter 5 in the future so till then guys take care